Hey, all of you hope you guys are great so this is where we left in the last video in that video we have talked about that how you can serve template image or any kind of data in your browser okay so if you haven't watched a link in the i button in the description so you can send follow that let's come here we're going to work on the environment variable okay so let me show you that what i mean by that so let's console log out this app.get in because environment variable is a very important concept in api development or any kind of project development you have to know that how you can set the environment how you can create environment and how you can change the entire application entire motive of the api on based on the environment okay so that's what we're going to talk about in this video environment variable so let me show you what we get in this when we do this app.get in and if i save it if i scroll down here you can see we got the environment variable so right now we are in the development environments you can see development server.js so we are in in development environment so there are a couple of environment you have for generally when we are building an application we follow two type of environment one development and the second one is the production so once your application is got ready and you want to deploy on the internet so user can access that that's called production mode so many teams many developers have tried to have different kind of environments depending on the type of application they want to build depending on the team size okay so it's totally up to you that you can create multiple environments but in this we're going to focus only on two environment one development and one is productions so right now we are in the development mode you can see that log and here we go to check couple of more things okay so let's comment this and let me show you from where we are getting this so we, i just want to console log out this process dot env and in this we have all the environment that your directory name your passwords everything you will have in this process dot env okay so if you save that and if you come back to the console here you will find all the data about your environment variables so which some are used internally by node.js some are used by express okay so all the data environment variables used by the packages which you are using in the application that's you will find right up here okay you can see the username we have set up in our env file the data locations which we have and that's all in information you can find here okay or oh, these are all environment variable and based on this you can easily able to change the application behavior so let me comment this so now let's create a separate file in which we're going to create all the environment variable so these are the predefined environment variable which are generated by the node.js and express but we want to define our own environment variables like a development one like the user and passwords the api api passwords api url so all those things we have to try to keep in the environment variable we don't want to use directly in our production code because if you do that there might be a chance that other people can see your code so it's always a best practice that you have to create a dot env file and that we have to keep all our environment variables so let's do that so i'm going to call it let's say config dot env you can give whatever name you want and here we're going to define all the environment variables so let's define the first variable which is a node env so we'll call development so this is our development environment and we have to define the port so right now we have 3000 so that's the same port we're going to define here and we have to define the username so i'll go to define my name you should define your and here we have to define the password so right now i'm just taking this random password dollars okay so that's my environment variables and to load this environment variable all you have to do is to restart the application okay so if you run this command and save it this will not work you have to restart your server so let's come here we have to clear the terminal and we have to restart npm and before we restart we need a package so we need a package that's called dot env because this package will allow us to read the variable from that config file okay so let's install the package first then we're going to restart the application so let's dot env so make sure you install this package which help us to read the file and if you come here clear the terminal and here you can see we have this dependency okay now clear the terminal and now here we're going to do so that's all our environment variable and here we're going to do the setup before we start the application so let's come here first thing we have to do is we have to make it required okay so we need to import that dot env dot env and that's coming from same the package folder node modules okay so this that's what we have here and now we're going to use this to 
configure so I'll call it let's say dot env and we have a method called config you can have this methods but we're going to call this config one and here we have to define the path where the file is located so path and here we're going to define the name of the file so dot slash and we have this config file so this is the place where we have all the environment variable now I'm going to simply cut this and I'm going to paste it here and here I'm going to restart the application okay so our environment variable can load and here you can see we got all the data and here you can able to find that so here we have the username which we have created Dalat Hussain and here you can see Dalat Hussain we have username Dalat Hussain we have and you can find the version name and where it is where it is this is the port we have defined so where we have the other variables there is a lot of data so this is the port and the one other we have this is the password we have defined and the development node env so this is the okay this is the development environment development server.js you can see we can easily able to load this environment variable and we can use it okay so that's how you can load your own environment variable and create your own environment variable and right now you can see we have this morgan packages globally so no matter what request or in which environment we make this request whether it's production and whether it's a but it's always a good idea that you should always log any kind of sensitive information in a development not in production okay so i just want to run this middleware only in development not in production so for that i'm going to set a condition okay so i'll come here and i'm going to take this if statement so i'll say process dot n it's an object and in that i have that environment variable so i'll get this node dash env and that is equal to development so if the environment believe is development then we want to execute this but if it, if we are in production then we don't want to execute this one so that's will only run in the development so that's the one setup we have here and here we have to change this one because right now we can read that environment variables from our dot config file so we'll say process dot env and we're going to call that port so if we have the port in our environment variable it will take that port but if we don't have that then it will take this 3000 but in both the places we are providing this 3000 okay so it will work fine so if you come and just do the request things are working as it is okay we don't have any problem so things are looking good so that's what we have and here we're going to set create a one more in a script which is for the production okay so right now we are in the development and we have this let's create the production for so let's call it pro and here we have to define this node and and here we have to define that what kind of mode it's a production mode and that's coming from node mode server.js okay so that's the production and the first one is the development so to test this all we have to do is simply stop the application and now we have to run this production code so let's change this pro name to let's say start pro okay and we have to run this command npm run and start so when you are running the production mode you have to use this run keyword okay in, when you are using the development in that you can simply type npm start that will work but when you are running on development sorry in the production you have to use this run keyword and here we have to give the name of the script so start product prod <laughs> and hit enter and just wait and here you can see right now we are in production mode you can see in production nor nodemon server.js so this is how we can switch between production and development mode so hope things are making sense that how we can use this environment variable this will make our work a well a lot of easy because when we start working on the authentications so we're going to set certain rules okay not every time we're going to log into the application so we're going to make ourselves admin as a development mode and where we're going to stop the authentication but when we switch to production mode there all the authentication will start okay that will make sense okay just work along with me so simply we have to come back to the normal one because we have to work on our api so we need to work on the development mode so let's hit enter and here we are back in the development mode so things are looking fine so that's the script two script we have one for development one for productions looking fine so far and now let's come here and so that's the only thing i wanted to cover in this video hope you guys have got the complete idea that how you can check the existing environment variable in your computer which is coming from the packages and how you can create your own 
and write the script for that okay so right now we have built the basic structure of our environment variable but we go to add a lot of things in our environment like in the config file because we need all the api data to connect our database with the cloud database okay so hope you have got the understanding with that said i'm ending this video let's move to the next one